Hey guys, always on here bringing you another one. Sorry it's been a few days, maybe even a week, since my last video I've been working on a little something else, which may or may not happen. But aside from that, back again in the Hyakushiki Kai, playing with my boy Drunk Zaku. Switch was captured was captured a couple days ago. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, honestly, I'm just doing this before work, so even I'm not entirely sure what I want the theme of this video to be. I already talked about the Yakushiki Kai, so I think we'll we might talk a little bit about just general teamwork, I suppose. Just because GBO2 is such a team fight heavy game with all the crowd control and this extremely high, obnoxiously don't well, the obnoxiously high health bars and the obnoxiously high time to kill. It's very hard to fight against three people and live and win. In that situation, I'm just telling Zaku, hey, use your maneuver armor, get the hell out of there, and he already knows what's up. He didn't need me to tell him that shit. I think I cursed him in the first few seconds in the video. I think I am out of monetization. Oh, well, I don't get paid for this anyway. It's tied up now. I'm just trying my best to cover my boy as much as possible. I don't think he's going to... No, no time to get that. No time to get that. No time to get that. Just trying to whittle and chip everything. I used to think the G3 was king of chip damage, but this thing might actually be the king of chip. Even stray hits on this thing can lead to big damage because it does damage over time. So even if you don't commit to a melee or something, that's okay. Thankfully, we have a lead now. I guess Ashima, I remember being incredibly annoying. I think we were talking about this guy is the one of the few S ranks on the enemy team. And we didn't exactly have a whole lot of trouble taking him down. Maybe he's not used to playing the Ashmar, but we were not impressed. Uh, I, I, you know, no shade meant towards the other guy. We won the first team fight. As a matter of fact, the first couple of team fights at this point. So we decided. So I decided to just go ahead and take A. Zaku pushes forward, and I think he was relying on a thing to back him up there, but gets messed up. <laughs> Yeah, he was trying to take B. I see. I see what happened. He was trying to take B. No one helped him out. His pilot got killed, and now he has almost no health. Now, there are a couple things working not in GBO's favor with this. Because the controls are so clunky compared to a more standard shooter... And because there is no voice communication, because... Well, there's an experiment, right? There's a psychological experiment where there's a video plan, right? And the video asks you to... to count how many times a ball was passed between people wearing white. I believe that was the thing. And then at the end of the video, it'll ask, Did you notice the guy in the black gorilla suit? We did this in psychology class back when I was in high school. And no one noticed. Well, a very few number of people noticed. I know some black smudge on the screen, but I decided not. But I decided I had to focus on counting rather than trying to count anything else. As it turned out, there was a guy in a gorilla suit dancing around. What this means to me, what this what this tells me, is people are very very good at paying attention to one thing, but very bad at distributed attention. What does that mean for GBL? Well. What this means is, is, well, first of all, GBO has a very, very high time to kill. In something like Valorant, time to kill can be instant, literally instant, because of how headshots work. Instant, um, what is it? Not Counter-Strike. Uh, Rainbow Six can also be instant because of how headshots work. Halo time to kill is is long for the shooter, but still way, but still way shorter than this. But in GBO, fights could take upwards of half a minute. No Certainly at lower tiers. 
when you get higher in skill and higher in uh, rank where you do more damage, it's not so bad. But time to kill be, can be very long. And during that time where you're spending this 20 to 30 seconds to kill a guy, that's all you can pay attention to as a human. So no matter what you're saying in that little chat box in the lower left, no matter how many times you spam it, it's just not humanly possible to notice it. Because during a fight, there just isn't enough downtime to notice anything else going on. It's very easy to tunnel vision. So knowing that, why NGBO doesn't have voice comms is fucking beyond me. People say they don't want to become like Call of Duty, but of course the mute button exists for a reason. You know, I would I would say that in a game like this, you need to be able to communicate with your team. And yep, we, yep, we have a rage quit guy. Try to tackle him out of that. But in multiplayer games, it's extremely hard to rely on your team for almost anything. Not having comms makes that even worse, and having this lackluster chat system is even worse. Add on to that, it takes so long to kill somebody, and you're so focused on that, that anything else going on on the battlefield just... you It's, not, it's almost not physically possible to consider. I just think all that's a really bad combination and really adds to how annoying this game can be even on a good day. And here, like, we lost the team fight, but we're still in the lead, so for now it's just a matter of doing as much damage as I can with the time I have alive. I should die. Yep. Fortunately, either he has higher melee priority than me, which is also a stupid mechanic, by the way, or something was up with the frame dead or net, net code. I think the dry send does have level 3 minute war not move armor, uh, melee priority? I don't know that offhand. I think it does. So even though we had, they had one guy quit, they're still kind of in this. If they can win this team fight, and then not die. They have this. But I think there's only yet there are two of them and they're about to be cornered and surrounded. An only one guy and he's he's in a bad way right now. My boy's in a bad way right now. Now it's physically impossible for them to win, even with a team wipe. And if none of them, if they get a team wipe, none of them die. They still can't win this. Means I could just jump on this guy, do as much damage as possible, do the chip damage necessary for that downswing to kill. It might have killed anyway, but I don't know. Get damage on both of them. Tackle that mofo. Knock him down. And we take those. A really good matchup, a bit of a blowout. Top score, top assist, with my boys Oscar doing most damage. The Girazula is a really good set. I really need to put a video out on it. One day. Actually, now, now I see. The Ashmar did do a lot of damage. He did a crazy amount of damage and did quite a few number of kills and assists, despite the fact me and Zaku never really, uh, really had trouble with them. So yeah, respect to that guy. 